Honorable Member for Nyanija. I just thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Never rest to. Okay, thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Though I never rest, but since you give me the opportunity, I'll just make the best use of it and then join my colleagues to thank, first of all, the Ministry of Justice who came up with the idea and introduced a bill here in the National Assembly to enact the CRC Act. And of course, I thank the Commission, that is the Constitutional Review Commission, for the tremendous job they have done. They have definitely consulted all. They have been to every, and every district and also even outside the Gambia to consult Gambians about how they want to be governed. So definitely I thank you people. Honorable Speaker, what is before us here is the draft constitution 2020, a bill to promulgate the 1997 constitution. Honorable Speaker, first of all, what we need to ask ourselves is when we were enacting the CRC Act, what were we thinking of? What did we want it? And that was exactly the functions that we stipulated in the Act, the, the functions of the Commission. And to my knowledge, I think they have done what they're supposed to do. Now the ball is in our court as MPs who gave them that tax to go around and come up with this document. So definitely, I thank the CRC through the Ministry of Justice. So, honorable members, like I said, the draft bill is before us. And to me, before I take any position on this, as the mover of the motion, definitely I need certain clarifications from you. Because there are a lot of talks in town talking a lot from the secularity to other issues. So I definitely want to be enlightened on that. The issue of the secularity, how is it addressed here? Because there are still some so-called elites, I will say, who are taking this in different dimensions. So I'm a bit lost. Where will I be? Should I see the word secular in the Constitution, or should I just not see it and support it? So definitely I want to be enlightened on that. So the other point that I will also raise as regarding this too much of rights, definitely we are moving, we are progressing from one step to the other, but let us also remember our cultures and values as a nation. Definitely, I was born and brought up in the village, and the way I was born and brought up, and the way I am, I should behave in society and so on, uh, definitely it's something which you know that I opt to uphold, uphold until my last breath, on this, on, the, uh, on this land. So definitely, I have seen so much specified here, right to life, right to so on, right to so on. So I just have a simple question, uh, Honorable Minister. These rights that are stipulated here, others are saying these are westernization, these are western modern thinking and so on. This does not depict the values and uh, ethos and value of our people here. So what do you have to say about that before I take my position? Can you please enlighten us and enlighten Gambians? How is this address here? Uh, the other thing, Honorable Speaker, uh, Honorable Speaker, that I will want the Honorable Mover of the motion to also help. Uh, it's like other members are talking like uh, people are already going to. From my view, it's like uh, the 1997 constitution is what the current president was elected on. So now, if we are to have a new constitution, having a seven clause capturing the current term of the incumbent as his first term, how do you see that? How do you see that? So if you better explain to me, then I can make a position. 
So regardless of other things that other members are uh, raised, I think I just need to save the time of the assembly and stop here, like I said earlier, thank the CRC, thank the Ministry of Justice, and also thank this National Assembly. Because everything begins here and everything is here now. So thank you very much. Honorable Member for Bangalore North.